Hey guys, how we doing? So, Dan from Trading with Dan here. <coughs> I forgot what I was going to say then. Um, so yeah, so yeah, over to the 15-minute um, DMT chart. That's um, that is a chart that my bot is operating off. Um, you can see we got very close to that 10,400 yesterday. I was fully expecting us to get there, but um, but we didn't. So we had a we had a retrace down. So now we're trading um, in the mid 10,200s. Um, so yeah, you can see the buy lines just 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 come down a little bit more. So we're currently about three uh, ten three ten three eighty. Um, so yeah, I mean that that shows how how great this indicator is. I mean it, it was just at the perfect level to get us in if we were going to break above, and if not, it was going to be resistance. And then you can see it worked perfectly as resistance. Um, so yeah, I mean you can see in a lot of these uptrends we we will come close to it and then keep going up. Um, or not break through. I'm not sure why my charts aren't loading. Yeah, or we can pierce it and then break back up. Pierce it or break back up. Or oh, that was actually a sell there. Um, but yeah, you can see the line because obviously it's based on the volatility of the asset. Um, it will, um, it will, it will often show you like a level that is good for resistance or support. Um, but yeah, so, so yep, so there we go. So DMT saved you FOMOing long around the ten thousand four hundred level. Um, like on this bike here when you could easily have easily have done um and yeah so and obviously it would have had to have closed the candle then open and closed the, can the next candle above it so we would have had a proper break of the line before we actually then went to buy in so that's why i think the my i operate my bot on um on candle close um rather than just um at any time so literally as as the candle opens through it um but yeah, so yeah, in my in my personal account again, I took off my trade last night before I went to bed. The same trade basically from the day before. Not it wasn't the same trade, but because I got out that one the day before as well before I went to bed. But I did the same last night as well. So I got out. Um, I think I put I had orders in it. I put orders in at three seventy and three six five um, to get out. So I got out around that area. I was long from. I was long from. Um, 10,000 10,200 ish again and then yeah so this morning um i put my trade i put that put the same trade back on basically um i got 10 i got um two two lots two lots of my four lot position um so i put a, a half a trade size on but i've got in at um 10 um 10,210 and 10,220 so i'm currently long that price um so yeah so hopefully we can um hopefully we'll get a break and go upwards again i mean you can clearly see in this in the in this small um s snapshot of obviously the trading the trading range here we've got we're getting lower highs sorry higher highs <laughs> there we go we are getting we're getting high highs apart from this one here if you ignore that but yeah we're getting high higher high higher sustained highs and then we're also getting higher lows currently so i mean this could be forming a sort of rising wedge possibly in, in a larger rising wedge or ri rising pattern that we've got on a higher time frame could it could break down but i'm prepared to take take the risk that we're going to go up at the moment but either way dmt is not going to get you in unless you break up here um so yeah i i mean i fully see us um making our way up to up to up above this line this weekend and um, weekend action isn't necessarily the greatest to trade but um but the bot's 24 hours, so we'll, we will see what happens with the trade. Um, so yeah, other than that, clicking over to ETH. ETH, ETH is really, really strong. ETH is very strong. So um, yeah, so those um, plus token scammers are going to um, get a good price for their um, their, their hundreds of thousands of ETH that they want to dump. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with this. Um, whether we keep pushing up. I mean, obviously, if Bitcoin pushes up, this is going to keep pushing up. Um, but yeah, so if we do get a sell, we are currently now at um, 267 is the sell level for for Ethereum for the DMT. So that's come up quite a lot from 253. I mean, it just shows you just how strong the ETH price is, Ethereum price is that we're um, going up, that we we're just we're just going up like this. But there will be a retrace at some point. So let's see whether DMT gets us in and whether it is a good whether it ends up being a good trade. Um, but yes, yeah, so but yes, yeah, so far as the Bitcoin um, DMT, we can only be looking for a buy trade. Eve could only looking for a sell trade too. Um, but yeah, I must say though, I am I am glad we didn't we didn't obviously break through here and then come back down. I mean that just that that is um that's great for great for us really. We wouldn't want to be sat here long, sat in um 
hundred and hundred and fifty dollars or so worth of um worth of a loss at the moment um bitcoin price wise um so yeah so um i'm not too sure i'll be able to do a video later on today um because i've got to go out and do some things um but i'll have a video at some point i think tomorrow um but yeah so thanks for listening guys i uh, remember none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor yeah just go to our alerts again here you can see no no new alerts on here we've got all uh, all our bots up and ready so so yep so thanks for listening guys and i will speak to you guys soon